What is up, everybody? It's your boy PH on this four, and I man, I usually don't do an intro like that, but hey, I usually just talk about what I'm about to about the video. But here we are. So I wanted to talk about hail, but not hail anymore. It's actually snow this time. Snow teams and snow in the VGC, and how it might actually be an underrated pick. It quite possibly could shake the metagame a bit because let's be honest, snow hail overall has been lackluster as in hail hail and ice types was not good you didn't even get a defense boost it was just damage over time that was it that's all you got was just damage between each turn that's it every other turn you just get damaged by hail now that you change it to like nobody gets damaged instead pokemon get a defense buff this is gonna make a lot of pokemon actually be bulky and can take you know fighting moves which is the best part so i have like a few things i'm going to talk about with pokemon and probably like you know what like this is recent pokemon pokemon that also are quite frequent in the metagame as well currently that we're sitting at so let's talk about slow king first now why am i talking about slow king well slow king got um, a move called chilling reception and what this does it starts snow and the user switches out which is actually quite, that sounds amazing. So not only if you don't have like an Obama snow on your lead that with snow warning, you can just use this, have regenerator on, and then chilling reception, just get HP. If you do get damaged, you can just get your HP back and chilling reception right out, set up the snow and like other Pokemon like Satitan or bear tick even could help out. Cause you can, what you can do with your bear tick is probably ban this guy. You either ban this guy, help him out with Slush Rush, like give him a band and just like rock slide. He can do Earthquake to what? What else can you do? Like probably Icicle Crash or Liquidation or Play Rough. If you want to do Rocks, if you wanted to, Shadow Claw, if you really wanted to. If I really wanted to. If my voice sounds very um, like bad right now, it's because like I'm still trying to get, get over the sickness and I decided to record while being sick, but hey. I gotta get these videos out, I gotta record for y'all, because y'all are enjoy y'all been enjoying the content. I wanna switch up things instead of being like a guide video. Instead of guides, I wanted to switch it up and talk about maybe like different shakes of the metagame, you know? But onwards with um so Titan now. So it's so a Titan, you can just give him the slush rush and you can run like ice go shard, ice speed, ice spinner, play rough liquidation, all that other stuff. Super power. Pretty much set up the hail and you'll be good to go i actually i have a team oh god i have a team right now that i'm gonna right now currently that i'm gonna build i'm definitely gonna build for uh vgc oh shoot i'm gonna switch up that item i'm gonna switch that i'm probably gonna have to swap this item loki to something else i'll figure it out in a bit i'll definitely figure out that figure this out but um yeah, all of these Pokemon, I pretty much have a team that I'm setting up for. I'm going to be setting up and good to go. Actually, no, no, no. Where's Leftovers? Uh, where's Leftovers? There it is. Yeah, I'm just giving it Lefties. But my team pretty much right now is going to be Armor Rouge. Because Armor Rouge and Ndidi are going to help out set up Trick Room. Because Trick Room is going to be really good if I need, if I'm bringing Avalug or Obama Snow to the, to the group. Because Avalug, all I gotta do is set up an Iron Defense, have that Cover and Cloak on so it doesn't take any damage. So it doesn't get hit by like a flinch or anything because getting flinch is a bad. I have Wide Guard just in case for any spread moves. I have Aurora Veil with Light Clay on a of Snow just so I can keep my Aurora Veil up for the, for the duration. Then Armor Rouge obviously doing the damage with Ndidi. And Lefto Lefty Substitute, Calm Mind, Glaceon is gonna be here too. It was snow cloak, so yeah. With this thing having snow cloak on, it's just uh, it's gonna be so annoying to take out. I would run ice body for more heals, but since I have leftovers on, I'm just gonna run snow cloak. And that's my team. That's gonna be my team. I'm gonna build and use it for the VGC. I might swap out maybe Avalug with Slow King just to have somebody else I can set up um the snow. Because also having another person that can set up snow can be very, very helpful for me. Just in case that happens or the weather gets changed. Because having the weather get changed can is going to be detrimental 
to the team. Especially if they're running Torkoal. If they run anything like a Torkoal, that can obviously like rupture the team's um whole flow. And if that's the case, then I'm probably gonna have to bring out like Bax Caliber. But probably pull out Bax Caliber and uh, Armor Rouge just to tank the hits, to tank the fire hits. Bax Caliber and Armor Rouge are gonna be the only two that are really gonna be able to deal with the fire types. As well, I'm low key thinking of swapping Avalog out for Slow King to help them out. So if I do make changes, I will. I will let y'all know in like a stream. I do. But let's get on to the, like the like most Pokemon going to be used. I'm on Pika. Um, Lytics right now and I'm gonna be showing you like so currently in the metagame with VDC series 1 you can see on the left side we have Amoongus, Garchomp, Arcanine, Grimstone, Goldango, Annihilate, Armor Rouge, Murkrow, Murkrow and Didi, Torkoal, pretty much all these Pokemon that are being used right now. As you can tell barely any of them are ice like there are no ice types and I feel like if you can run like a good ice type team then yeah you'll be bro you'll be good to go i'm just saying because amoongus can't really do much against ice garchomp won't be able to do anything if you're running ice because he does not he does not like blizzard arcanine is going to be if you have a slow king or armor rouge in the back you can just flat swap into a flash fire grimace snarl eh, he this won't be that much Gold Dango is already annoying too, but I have Glaceon for that. So Gold Dango might be a problem. Armor Rouge itself, fighting other Armor Rouge is going to be a problem. Annihilate is a problem already. And like in DD, just being bulky and just setting up, being the best partner you can, it's just, it's already good too. Gargargo, I haven't, I haven't really been running into them, but like, they're still annoying. Same with Torkoals too. If you run to that Torkoal team, it's going to be like, who gets their weather up first? And if he's faster somehow, and you get your weather up first, that's actually going to be very good for you. Gyarados, is haven't really seen much Gyarados. Flamingo, Flamigos, I've only seen like one or two. Murkrow is everywhere, so being able to take out Murkrow like turn one is obviously good. And being taken on Murkrow in general is really good for the metagame. metagame but yeah, these are like the current like BGC usage for Pokemon wise. These are the current ones that are going to be used. And it really it, it kind of sucks that like ice types aren't being used as what they should be. Also, you can pair this thing up with the uh, Sylveon too if you wanted to. Um, I have a throw spray. I have a pixelate throw spray Sylveon. This is gonna be my offensive one, and I might um build as what I'm probably gonna build as well because you can actually go on any team I want. I want for the time being. And then you have and like I said, most of the teams that people run for this is not like it's it's hard it's it's very very difficult to like fight any of these mons i'm not gonna lie i'm not kidding fighting these mons it sucks murkrow it sucks because i got like if you want to be honest look you can tell look what murkrow's run if you have a murk See what Murkrow runs is this ability, and with this move, and this, 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 having these two alone is a detriment to any person that is trying to fight Murkrow. Anybody who speak a speed control is everything. If you don't have speed control, then you're pretty much screwed. Well, since I'm running Trick Room, mm hmm, since I have Trick Room, my Armor Rouge, I'm probably I'm also gonna put on my Indeedy. Since I have Trick Room. I'm gonna set that up, help help out Obama Snow, um, Avalug, Glaceon, and Armor Rouge since everyone in this team is pretty slow except for the Bax Caliber, and I'll be good to go. I'll be good, good to go. But everyone's like on the teams. If you see them on like other VGC teams, people aren't really taking risk with these teams at all with Ice. Because why would you take a risk with Ice types? Ice types, <sighs> using Ice types is very hard. In general they don't resist themselves there's just a lot of shit you have to worry about and it's like bruh it, it can it can be crazy it, it can be in the it, it can be crazy and very very annoying to fight i'm trying to think of my words as i'm going because my arm <clears throat> it doesn't resist itself 
and mainly it's like just fighting dragons and flying types and ground types that's it that's why people don't want to take chances but i'll take a chance with this and who knows maybe this team might be very useful and probably get me high enough get me to high places with it maybe this team might be going somewhere who knows but it's still gonna have its problems with the steel typing and fire definitely and fighting because those are actually common in the metagame and fighting them is a very huge pain but i think i, th I think i would be fine i'm definitely gonna build this team for build this team soon enough and i'll be going on the ladder with it going on the ladder and fighting and like pretty much fighting a lot so but this video was just me talking about hail and vgc entirely but what i think about ice hyping and hail so if you guys enjoyed enjoyed this kind of style this is my first time like talking about something pokemon related that's not um a guide because i already know i feel like y'all are like bro this man has been only making guides and he i when he's gonna like do try something different and i'm like bro don't worry i'm trying something different I'm going to, and this is the time where I'm like, hey, I'm going to try something different this time. I'm not going to make a guide video this time. I'm not going to make a guide video. I'm actually going to just talk about the metagame and maybe how it can shift. But if you guys enjoy this kind of video, hit that like button down below. Comment also what you think about hail teams in general and hey, like ice type and snowscape and what you think of how it, it probably could shift. Like once Bang comes out, like what new Pokemon will, will be useful to this. And um, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for stopping by and peace.